Okay, back to uh, talking about uh, Doctor Who, uh, Peter Davison, and Earthshock. Yesterday was very irritating. When I was watching one of my videos, after I'd made it, I, uh, I noticed I made a little mistake, which was very irritating, but I took it as an opportunity to use my uh, video editor on my laptop to uh, put some words up to correct what I had said. And then I also uh, used some features of my video editor and enhanced it by uh, I used a filter on it on the video and I used title cards so at the beginning of the video I put up a title of the title of the video and then at the end I, I put some nice words there also and and I had a nice uh, video uh, um, in the video I had a nice um, 3d effect So I feel that um, it's, it's kind of funny how I made a, a positive out of a negative. Uh, I, uh, I, I feel like I enhanced the video a lot. I really liked the, uh, the final vi video. I liked, I liked how it, how it looked. But before I had even finalized it, the, the process of, of, of uh, enhancing the video, of adding these, these effects, the, the title cards and all that, it was very frustrating because I'm not used to doing it. So I was, it was very, uh, I was sort of enraged just from being frustrated trying to figure out how to do it uh, because I don't I, don't, I didn't have like an instruction manual for it I just had to just figure it out and I it was it was a struggle because I was trying to get it to, to the video editor I was trying to get it to do something and it wasn't doing it So I was very, very angry and frustrated, and and I'm very, I'm, I'm glad that it, it worked in the, in the end. It, it's a very nice to be able to do that. But uh, it does, it does take a while. I was hoping that um, it would be quicker uh, when I realized what I was doing, how to do it. But uh, definitely, it does take a few minutes just to to get everything on the on the video to enhance it. And when you finalize it, uh, the the very last process of the video editor uh, exporting it, it takes about ten minutes just to do that. Um, but then, so I was thinking, oh, this is great. I, I like, I like the effects. Like I, I, I like, cause there's, there's a lot of options for, there's a lot of options for, um, uh, well, you can, you can have different background colors for the, for the title cards. And, uh, I, I, I like, I liked, um, I liked that, that, that thing at the end saying, thanks for watching, uh, uh, like and subscribe I like I like that part and um, at first I was thinking well it doesn't really it seems kind of silly to have a title card because what why do I need a title card if, if there's a title to the video when you click on the video you see the title 
So it's kind of redundant to have the title on the on the video when you click on it and then also have the title at the start of the video, but it looks nice. And uh, I really like the 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 3d effects there's there's a lot of different ones you can use on there so I was thinking wow this is this is great I can enhance all my videos and, and maybe people want to watch them more so I was thinking well maybe from now on from now on I'll do that it just takes a little longer to to finish making the video though So I, I tried to I tried to do that again last night when I should have been reading. I wanted to re it cut into my reading time greatly. So I was thinking, well, I could just do it quickly because I, I think I know how to do it. So I tried doing it quickly, and it wasn't I wasn't it wasn't doing it quickly. I was still struggling with it because I was trying to make it do something, and it wasn't working. I don't it was it was very frustrating. So I was very angry again last night. So I uh, I waited for it to uh, export, and when it finished uh, the exporting, I watched the video, and uh, it it looked good. The 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 things that I added to it to enhance the video, but toward the end of the video the audio was it wasn't synced up so you could see it was like watching a, a a foreign movie that's dubbed in english you can see the words aren't matching with with when i'm speaking when you hear the words they're not matching with my the my my lips moving so it was all it wasn't synced up So I had to ask myself, do I want to have this video where I have all these these nice enhancements to it, but part of the video, the, the audio is not synced up. So I had to delete the video. So I wasted, I wasted the time that it took to make it, which was probably like a half an hour. I don't remember exactly. But it was frustrating just to make the video. Then I waited for it to export and then... I had to delete it because it wasn't synced up. So I don't know why I did that. So I was very angry about that. And uh, I just tried to, oh, well, I had it already made, so I tried, well, I don't know, I'll try to export it again. So I tried it again, and it did the same thing. The audio was not synced up, so I just said, fine, I'll just leave it. I'll leave it as a regular video like I usually do and not have the enhancements to it. <sighs> but I really liked... So it, it, as far as I could tell, it, it, the audio was fine. It, it, was the, it wasn't out of sync the first time I had add the, added the enhancements and the video editor, so I don't know why it was fine the first time I did it, but it wasn't fine the second and then the third time I did it on the video editor. So I guess I'll try it again later. See if it works. If it doesn't work, I guess I'll give up because I don't, I don't know. I really like uh, having the option of adding enhancements in the video editor. So I guess I've talked enough about that it was just it was just a very frustrating irritating day yesterday it was interesting it's it's nice to learn how to do new things to make the videos better but not if it's makes me angry I got a bug in here all right I uh, I forgot to do something when, uh, 
which I had been doing with the uh, Doctor Who videos, uh, I forgot to read the uh, description on the back of the DVD for Earthshock. Okay, so for Earthshock, uh, yeah, on the bottom it says the Peter Davison years. It was 1982 to 1984. A lot less than um, Tom Baker. Doctor Who Earthshock BBC video. Starring Peter Davison by Eric Sayward. This is story number 122. All right, it says the mysterious disappearance of an archaeological team is merely the prelude to a deadlier threat for the Doctor and his companions. The Cybermen want to destroy Earth and will use any means at their disposal. The Doctor's ingenuity is stretched to its very limits as he battles to defeat the Cyber Army at any cost. But even he does not realize just how high that cost will be. And then there's some bunch of special features, which I'll talk about later. So this was made in 1982. Uh, approximately 97 minutes with a subtitle option, which I love, especially when you have people that talk fast or they are speaking in an accent. It's very nice to have the words up. All right, uh, it's with Janet Fielding, Sarah Sutton, and Matthew, Water Matthew Waterhouse. Directed by Peter Grimwade. It's funny how sometimes when uh, on special features, uh, when they uh, t talk to the actors in, in the interviews about how 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 they got along with the directors, sometimes the actors did not get along with the directors. They didn't like them very much. Yeah, there's been at least a few times where they they say how they uh, didn't really get along with the directors. I think this was one of them where they, at least some of the actors, uh, didn't really uh, get along with uh, Peter Grimway. Produced by John Ethan Turner. Incidental music composed by Malcolm Clark. Doctor Who and TARDIS are trademarks of the BBC. Originally transmitted March 8th through the 16th of 1982. All right, so that's what it says on the on the DVD. Here's what the DVD looks like, the disc. Ah, this video is already kind of long, but I just I just want to quickly mention how uh, bef previously when I was talking about uh, my the pet my Patrick Troughton collection, uh, I said I had ordered uh, a couple of them, and one of them was the Underwater Menace, and when I got the Underwater Menace. There was, okay, well, uh, both both of the Doctor Who uh, discs, before I even opened them, I could hear that the disc was moving around in there. So that's that's never that's never a good thing. Uh, I don't know who I don't know who to blame. Do I blame the person who put the disc in the in the in the DVD uh, case, or do I blame? Or was it uh, when it was mailed to me? Was it the male person? Do they were they too rough with it? Seems like I feel I feel like I want to blame the person who put the disc in the in the in the case. They but they didn't push it down right, and then it would just loose and it was just moving around. So 
I always hate having to call Amazon to say, well, okay, I got a problem with my product, what I ordered, because then you got to deal with, all right, now I got to figure out, I got to deal with uh, uh, sending it back. It's, it's always irritating having to send something back. It wasn't too bad this time, uh, but just having to explain, yeah, there was a problem with something I ordered on the on when you call the Amazon people. Uh, so, yeah, the disc when I looked at um, it's funny because uh, Moonbase, the Moonbase one, Doctor Who Moonbase DVD, that one was fine. But the uh, underwater menace, because it was moving around in the case, it was it had scuff marks on it, and there was a there was a, a scratch on it. So I didn't even bother. Like what I was thinking, why why should I why should I uh, even check? Because it's I can see it's damaged, whether it plays fine or not. I, when you buy something new, it should not be damaged. So I had to send it back, and then. Um, uh, I wanted to get a replacement for it, but I, I think it wasn't even available anymore. I, I, what I wanted to do was find it from a different seller. I couldn't find it from a different seller, and then I think it wasn't even available. And then I, then I realized uh, for the Underwater Menace, they didn't even have uh, the ones that were on there, the episodes that were on there. They weren't even all available. Uh, the... Uh, there were like a couple of the episodes on Underwater Menace. There were just, they had the audio for it, but it was just telesnaps. So it was just uh, like f photo images, kind of like a photo gallery. And then you hear the audio for the episodes for at least a couple of them, I think. I guess that's fine if that's all there is, but what they're they were able to uh animate i've i've gotten several of them where they the the ones where they don't have the the video for it but they have the audio for it for the episodes uh of doctor who they they animate it they 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 it's like a cartoon so you the the audio is fine but then you know they have it animated so that's that's much nicer than just having telesnaps going by so maybe someday, hopefully someday, they will animate the missing episodes for Underwater Menace. They shouldn't have even released it until they animated it. So I just I guess I'll just have to wait for that to, when they decide to animate it. Uh, so instead of that, uh, I got um, uh, it's a uh, I, I guess it's like a documentary about uh, William Hartnell. And see, it's like a, I don't know if documentary is the right word for it. And like me, it's like a, because there's act, like acting in it. Uh, so maybe it's like a biopic. I don't know what the right word is. Uh, <clears throat> I think it's called Adventures in Time and Space. So that, that looks interesting. And then I got another movie movie with that. All right, this video is long enough. I didn't talk too much about Doctor Who, but I did talk a little bit about Doctor Who. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk about the video editing, and that took a long time. But it was video editing for the Doctor Who videos that I was making. So that's why it's related to Doctor Who. All right, long video.